We're going to acquire two channels for this demonstration. So the first order of business is to enable the second channel. You do this by pointing to the channels area and double clicking to display a channel selection matrix. Through the use of hardware channel expanders, Windax software can acquire as many as 240 inputs. Each box in the matrix represents a channel that can potentially be enabled. The eight channels of the DI730 that are available to us are located here. And we can enable any combination of these eight channels by clicking in the appropriate box. A box contains a check mark if that channel is enabled. You can disable a channel by clicking once in the checked box. We'll enable channels 1 and 2 and click OK.